dystopian times. In a world of politics dominated by the strange, the deranged, and outright insane, we'll now take a moment to shine a light on the craziest of what politics has to offer. This is your weekly dose of stupidity. And Ben Shapiro is the one who made the cut this week with this absolute banger of a hot take. So this is basically, I mean, as a leftist, I don't think I could ever show my face in public again because this is a thorough hypocrisy burn. So he writes, the same people on the left who rant ceaselessly about expensive, supposedly endless wars with no exit strategies are in favor of the counterproductive and endless war on poverty in which we economically burned villages in order to save them. Uh, folks, I don't know where to begin. So... um. <laughs> This this tweet almost uh, broke my brain. Actually, I'll leave it up while, while people uh, let it uh, kind of like uh, marinate. Um, any th thoughts on this, folks? <laughs> uh, I'll, I'll jump in on that one first. Okay. <laughs> well, as someone who has actually been to war three separate times on two separate fields of battle, both Iraq and Afghanistan, who was an infantryman, Ben Shapiro is a complete goddamn idiot. There's just no way around <laughs> it, Okay. <laughs> The guy thinks just because he talks really fast like this and he says words that nobody, he makes a point. He doesn't make any point. We're, 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 the war on poverty is nothing like an actual war where human lives are being taken at the end of a barrel or, or a bomb dropped on them. These people like Ben Shapiro and all the rest of them on the right and even some on the left who are so quick to fund our military industrial complex have no idea the ravages of war. I promise you this. I don't think I can impress upon you enough how absolutely horrible war is. There is no other comparison. There is no, the, when I hear people, you know, in football talk about we go to war every Sunday, it always gets me pissed off. Well, I'd go to war with you, man. No, you wouldn't. It's not what you think it is. So people like him just have no clue of what they're talking about. When I see a statement like that, I know for a fact that you're a complete idiot. I, there's nothing I can say to you that can ever change your mind. Because if you would say something, my father's a veteran, I'm a veteran, my cousin's a veteran, my uncle's a veteran. So if you would say something as asinine, as stupid as that, there's nothing I can say to you that's going to make you change your mind. Because if you haven't contemplated the seriousness of war, then and you're just using it as some arbitrary thing to make a point for your your callousness and hatred of, of taking care of poor people and helping poor people in the richest country on earth, then you are beyond saving, my brother. I'm sorry. You live your life, enjoy your life, and I'm going to work to make people's lives better. Yeah, yeah, beautifully put. Uh, Jeff, I know you have a lot to say. I know you're a huge fan of Ben Shapiro. Uh, what are your thoughts here? <laughs> this one should have stayed in the drafts, bro. Ooh, <laughs> painful. I mean, again, just like Isaiah said, you're going to compare the war on poverty the so-called war on poverty, you know, to actually help people, feed them, clothe them, make sure that they can actually survive. You're going to compare that with dropping bombs on primarily brown people. Let's keep it real. That, that's who they dropped the bombs on. Uh, now, of course, dropping the bombs on brown people happens to make white people, CEOs, very, very rich. Uh, and so, of course, we're going to keep doing that instead of actually feeding poor people who actually, you know, need the money and need to be fed and all of that stuff. No, it really shows our priorities as a nation are so incredibly ass backwards. Uh, and to have someone like Ben Shapiro, this guy is supposedly the, 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 you know, intellectual dark web, right? The cool kids. Uh, there's nothing intellectual. Yeah. There's nothing intellectual about that. Yeah. I'm actually still dumbfounded um, by this asinine tweet. My brain cells are currently committing suicide. Um, <laughs> uh, I, I do find it hilarious that uh, he, he says the left wants to end wars when there are actually a lot of Republicans that also don't want to be at war with other countries. Right. Uh, the only people that do are like the, the nut jobs are like, nothing's more American than killing innocent Brown people in other countries, you know? Uh, this comparison reminds me of that really terrible one Gina Carano did with, uh, you know, how persecution is not unlike the Jews in concentration camps. Like, it, it's that level of stupidity. It, it's like, like, it's not even comparable, but he, 
I'm not even sure what he was trying to get at with this tweet. My brain doesn't work right now. The the narrative of service and you know veterans in this country has obviously been co-opted by the right. You know, they think only and my reasons for serving weren't patriotic. They weren't, you know, some un- unabridged, unabided sense of freedom. I was poor. And there were a lot of recruiting stations where I grew up. And they offered me a job in healthcare and free college to travel the world. So I was like, all right, what the hell else do I have to do? But there's nobody on the left that can speak to these things because, you know, let's just throw somebody who's very popular on the left, AOC. If she says something, what the hell does she know? She's a bartender from the Bronx. If Corey Bush said something, you know, if Jamal Bowman or Ilhan, none of them have the experience to actually speak to this. And everybody who serves in Congress or served in the military always winds up being a Republican. Well, I'm a leftist. I'm a democratic socialist, unabashed. And if I hold up my uniform, this right here, all the medals and ribbons and all the dangly bangly things and all that stuff, I have all of that. And I'm not, you know, a soldier who happened to be a leftist. I'm a leftist who happened to be a soldier. So I would I would implore everybody right now in, in the comments, go tweet at Ben Shapiro and ask him to debate Isaiah James. You can find me on Twitter, Isaiah for Congress, on this very topic we're talking about right now. And I will go on his show in my dress blue uniform, and I will sit there and call him a damn idiot to his face and let him understand why what he's saying is not just detrimental to, to, to the, the overall conversation of war and poverty, but it's also disrespectful to the... Now, you may not agree with the people who went to war. I don't agree with why I was sent to war. But people are dead on both sides. Let's not forget about the people in Afghanistan and Iraq and Africa and all those people, all those lives that are lost. And this conversation deserves so much more respect than to have this pimple talk about it like it's just some arbitrary subject that he can just tweet out in 140 characters and get away with it. It, it, it irks me to no end. And I would implore everybody, go tweet at this ass clown and tell him to debate Isaiah James if he thinks he has such if he has all the answers. I will just uh, offer to uh, moderate that debate. I can't necessarily promise impartiality, but I will try. Um, but yeah, I think that would be really nice to have somebody who's a leftist, who's anti-war, who has that experience in Congress. Jeff, did you want to add to that? Yeah, you know, something you said kind of kind of made me think about how right now the military has been used as a jobs program. Uh, and, and of course, what they do is that they end up, of course, drafting people who are it's the poverty draft essentially Mm -hmm. uh oh don't worry hey our country uh we're not going to pay for you to get a higher education uh no we're going to make you go and and brown uh brown people overseas right in order to get that education uh oh you're you know you're poor well don't worry uh you know we can give you health care uh we can pay you you know not really that great of a salary because an e1 makes what nineteen thousand dollars a year and there are uh and, and and one of the biggest uh, uses of food stamps are on commissaries. And so it's, we don't even pay our troops very well. Imagine 700, over $700 billion a year. And very little of that actually goes to the people on the ground who are doing the fighting and dying. And most of that ends up into the pockets of the defense contractors. That is a fucked system. Excuse my language. That is a fucked system. Uh, and it is indicative of how little they actually care about the people who serve Isaiah. And it's, uh, you know, It's broken. It's so incredibly broken. Well, all the things we fight for on the left, you know, jobs program, housing, education. If they're so bad, why do Republicans? That's what those are the exact same thing the military uses to recruit your ass. So they're obviously not bad. They're just bad when we want to give them to people without having them to risk their lives. Think about that. Yeah, that's a great point. Uh, Tiffany, did you want to say anything before we go to the next topic? Uh, Military stuff is not my forte. It's not... uh something i'm uh familiar with same, I, same. yeah but um i just want to say to chat that in addition to asking ben shapiro to debate isaiah you should also uh ratio the hell out of that tweet and let him know just how dumb it is <laughs> <laughs> indeed indeed um with the caveat of course youtube that we are not encouraging brigading or harassment just uh you know absolutely the most um, lighthearted commentary. Uh, what's the word I'm looking for? Like polite commentary, I guess. Yeah, don't tweet. You're a complete asshole or anything like that. <laughs> don't do don't that. Call him, don't call him a fuckface. Don't do that, okay? Please. Um, yeah. Okay. <laughs> can, can, can we just say that uh, that tweet 
it, it those high level ideas really put our brains into a, into recovery mode. I can't even think after reading that shit. <laughs> recovery mode. My brain is still in recovery mode from taking in so many high level important ideas.